Hello, got another non-alcoholic here, Erdinger. So I guess this is just the NA version of the Arhavaweizen, Erdinger Weissbrau, it says on there. I have never had a non-alcoholic Hefeweizen, um, but I was really impressed by the Bitburger and alcoholic version of their Pilsner. It was very, very hoppy. So we'll see if they can pull off that nice, full, soft body you get in Hefeweizen's without the alcohol content. Very carbonated. Thing is that there's not much. Oh, there's some there's some sediment on the bottom there. The Best Buy is December, so that I'm assuming that means that it's hasn't it's been bottled for like what seven months or so. So it's not that old, especially for a heavy weight. Some they give the calories and everything 82 calories. That's still it's a little bit higher than your your average non-alcoholic that I've been drinking lately. Um. So maybe that will add a little bit more body to it. But yeah, it kind of tipped this bottle upside down, but all the yeast sediment is really stuck on the bottom. It's very pale. The head is big and billowy and thick, like you'd expect from a Hefeweizen. But when you look at it, it almost looks like a Pilsner. I guess it's not as crystal clear as an actual, you know, filtered German Pilsner, but we'll see if I can get some of that haze on the bottom eventually in there. Hmm, very barley smelling, even though in the ingredients listed it has wheat in front of, uh, in front of barley, but it seems like with non-alcoholic beers you always get that unfermented barley malt, which is a kind of a nice smell. It reminds me of the yeah, cereal, like a Grape nuts, I think, is just basically barley. Maybe, I don't know if this makes sense, but crack on oat bran, even though I guess that's oats. Probably some wheat in there, but yeah, it just smells like a lot of different cereals. Doesn't smell too sweet. And there's a hint of some herbal hop, I think, in there. But I'm not getting really big banana esters and cloves like I usually get. <clears throat> so I don't really know how they how they produce this. If it's um if they actually use their vice beer yeast and because it's it's not alcoholic it doesn't create all those notes or if when they take the alcohol out you lose a little bit of the esters and phenols. I mean there's maybe a hint of that in there. It's definitely aromatic but not quite like a pilsner. Not all hops. Mmm. Good amount of body. And pretty soft, too. But then it just continues with that cereal, wheat and barley, sweet wheat and barley flavor. Yeah, it's amazing how much it tastes like a bunch of different kind of old-fashioned cereals. It's not like fruity sweet cereal, like super sugary sweet cereals. Yeah, that feel is impressive. The wheat definitely gives it this almost velvety sort of feel. Let's see if I can get some haze in there, but really impressive head and head retention for being in like a really hot, humid room. Look at that jiggle on top. In terms of appearance and feel and all that stuff is great. It's just the, it doesn't quite come off as the Hefeweizen. Mainly because it's missing that yeast character. But it has probably the best head and best feel I've had from any non-alcoholic beer. Mm. It's probably the sweetest I've had also but not too sweet. It's not sickeningly sweet. I don't know if I could drink a whole six pack of these. But it's definitely easy to drink right now. All right, let's see if I can get a little bit 
of haze in there. Maybe that'll give it a little bit more of a hazy bison flavor, or at least it'll look like that. Because it's still real clear. There we go. There we go. Definitely some yeast in that pour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's coming down. <clears throat> it's probably just been sitting untouched on a shelf or in storage for so long that all that haze has got really stuck to the bottom. But now it looks, it looks right. The head is fantastic. But it, yeah, it is pretty sweet. It's a little bit too sweet for me now I'm thinking about it. But people who like Hefeweizens tend to like sort of sweeter beers. A lot of them are, are kind of sweet. But it's not really adding, adding full-on banana. It's something. Like if you give this to me in a blind tasting, I would, it would be very confusing. I don't know what I would guess who it was. But it's pretty good, and I would, I would recommend it on honestly. If you want to try some non-alcoholic, it's not gross, a little bit sweet, and has that soft wheat sort of flavor. If you're like basically not into pilsners or IPAs um, or like sweet amber ales, that's what a lot of the non-alcoholic beers are these days. This one is not a bad wheat one. I'd probably give it close to a four. <clears throat> 